Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabolski. Welcome to Toronto. Well, it's almost still a uh, bullpen analogy from baseball. There's a chance to bring in the closer here tonight. Yeah, you bet. Step over another hurdle, James. Get to the next series as fast as you can. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Puyo Yarvi. Keeps hold of the puck. Sends it down low. Sends the pass over. Quick feed to Nurse. Centering pass. Here's a chance. Big save. Toronto's looking to break out. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Couldn't complete the play. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Pinned up along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Feeds it on over to Nurse. And he slides it quickly to Yamamoto. Cahoon's got it in the corner. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Center down in front. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. Puck picked up by Marner. He takes a moment to backtrack, but maintains possession. Nice pass. Here's a short pass to Marner. Takes it across the blue line. Quick pass to Ennis. Pumps the puck away. Taken along the wall by Yamamoto. Redirected shot. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Manages to hang on. And now he moves it quickly to Nylander. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Delayed penalty looming. Whistle stops the play. The Oilers have been served up with a two-minute penalty for charging. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. It's our first power play of the game. What a great chance to break this scoreless tie. Start with a face-off win. Get the puck to the point and start moving it around before you attack the net. Have a clear plan. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still no score in this one. The Leafs win it. Puts it towards the net. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Centering pass. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Passes it to Simmons. Nice zone entry from the left. With possession along the wall. Chance in front. Blocker save. And he's showing up big time tonight. A game of inches. And he puts it off the outside of the post. Comes up with a monster save in front. But he came out and challenged a good save. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Gains the zone through center. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Toronto's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. And now he moves it to Nylander. Into the attacking area from the left side. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. 
and manages to clear the zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Toronto's in now. The Leafs gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Denies that opportunity. And another stop. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. On the doorstep, and he totally whiffs on it. Big play inside the defensive zone. Wicked blast! Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Here he is with the backhander. Big stop by the keeper. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Koskinen's on top of this. That's an enormous stop on a scoring chance. Still lots of time left in the period. We're still scoreless. Thornton's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Passes over to Larson. Chase on's out of the box. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Edmonton's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Sends it in on the attack. Quick feed to Spezza. The Leafs play it along the boards. And he loses control of the puck. Stays with it. Made the stop on the play. Moves it to Yamamoto. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. That opportunity is rejected. And the puck's knocked loose. Scrum ensues along the boards. Puck scooped up by Kerfoot. Directed over to Anderson. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And they'll dump it in. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Tries to get it out of their own end. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one. But, hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. The setters will glide into the dot. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Possession earned on the draw, James. We'll see if they can set something up. More than half the period has expired. Still scoreless in this one. The Leafs win the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Hole. And now it's grabbed by VC. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Here's a short pass to Cahoon. They've got numbers to his teammate. And he makes the easy save. Brody's starting to squeeze the stick a little bit here. He's been a while without a point. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. And they score! The goalie's barely in position here. That puck is snapped back so quickly, he can't react to the shot. Edmonton's effort pays off with a 1-0 lead. And now it has to be relentless. Just because you're up by one doesn't mean you sit back. Toronto's won the draw. Quick pass to Hyman. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Move to the middle. Quick feet. Score! Hard to get a much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. This is a case of one team just working harder than the other. Once the puck is turned over, they stay on it. They're on it like a pack. And eventually they get the puck to the scoring zone and they capitalize.
Edmonton's now jumped out to a two-goal lead here in the first. They didn't sit back after that first one, James, and they've been rewarded again. Torres wins it in the neutral zone. Passes it over to Ennis. That's broken up in the neutral zone. Here's a chance right in the slot. Moves it to Larson. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Strong defensive effort. Nylander's got control of the puck in the corner. Picked up along the wall by Larson. Toronto's got the puck here in the open ice. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Save made by the goalie. Koskinen's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Oilers now lead by two. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Looks to pass it to Cassian. Can't find his man. Scrum along the boards. Pokes the puck away. Taken by Kara. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Thornton. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Dishes it to Kerfoot. Puck grabbed by Thornton. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slides it on over to Yamamoto. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. And he slides it quickly to Kerfoot. Puck picked up by Cahoon. Yamamoto's got it in the defensive end. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. And now he angles it across to Kara. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McDavid. An easy save by Anderson. Toronto's got the lead in shots. Nevertheless, they still trail here in the first. The Oilers win the draw. Musa quickly over to Barry. Now a quick pass to Jones. Nugent Hopkins works it around near the point. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. That's not going to fool him. Here in the late going of the frame, Edmonton's got a 2-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Nugent Hopkins moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Barry. Pushes it across to McDavid. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. With some open space at center. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And he makes the save. The Oilers have it against the wall. Takes the pass. Here's a chance. Look out, denies him. And now it's to VC. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now it's over to Turris. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. That's a pretty good scoring chance. That's a chance the shooter thinks might go in, but the goalie turns it aside. The Leafs continue to trail despite multiple scoring opportunities here in the late stages of this first period. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. McKay is hauled down, penalty on the way. Here comes the call. Pretty cut and dry trip on that play. Coaches will tell you, be careful with your stick, but you're trying to get the puck. I yeah. don't think a lot of times they do it intentionally. They'll go back to work on their special teams. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away, not let it affect the current power play. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Oilers are on the attack. The Leafs have it behind the net. Here they come. Puck exits the zone. 
trying to get back on the attack now. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. A victim use of the paddle on that one. Late goings of this period. Edmonton's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Toronto's got it in the offensive zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Moves right to the middle. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. Great reflexes. Another save. Koskinen's so sharp on this. Reads the play. Reads the puck. Makes the save. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Looking to set up offensively. The Leafs come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. From one point man to another. Turns him away! Koskinen's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, He's been calm, and he's stopped everything so far. The Leafs must be feeling a little snake-bitten trailing in the late stages of the first. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Keeps the hold of it on the play. Cahoon's got it into offensive territory. Snaps one on net, turns it away. Dead center, excellent save. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Fantastic save! He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. And that's time on the period. Unrelenting. But the clock just simply ran out. Wow. That was impressive to finish up. Fans, a portion of tonight's proceeds will fund the Children's Playroom at City Hospital, providing a safe, fun environment for kids visiting long-term care patients. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Leafs take it across the blue line. Bumped off the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Here's a chance right out in front, and they can't connect. Made the stop on that play. Koskinen's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. Nurse's stick handling in his own zone. Answered the call on that play. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Slides the puck to McDavid. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Picked up along the boards by Hyman. Puck scooped up by Tavares. Wrist shot from the slot. An easy glove save made by Koskinen. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Oilers lead this one to zip. Dreisaitl's won it off the faceoff. Tries to get the puck over to Yamamoto. Edmonton's on the attack. Handles the puck. Slides it back to the blue line. Scooped up along the wall by Yamamoto. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Here they come, three of them. Puts it on net, and that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Now, whatever you got to do, I guess, man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of them. The Leafs have had more scoring opportunities to this point, but they continue to trail early in this second period. Spence has won the draw. Quick pass to Hole. Stopped by the goaltender. 
We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Fires it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Carries it in. Grabbed along the board by Simmons. Quick feed to Spezza. Couldn't make that one happen. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it to BC. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And they can't convert to the play. The Oilers have it now. Nice zone entry on the left side. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it quickly over to Kara. Turn that chance aside. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And he comes up with it. Right on the doorstep. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Cassian's got it across the line. Knocked off the puck. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck over. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Right to the middle. Rister. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. The Leafs walk the line. Takes a shot. And the goaltender makes an easy glove save. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. The Leafs have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Cahoon's got it on the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Dreisaitl. Comes up with the stick save. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Slides it across, and that one's broken up. Great block there. And now it's grabbed by Hull. Wrists one, and that one's blocked. Nice defensive robbery on that. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Picked off in the open ice. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Holes moving the puck through his own zone. And he coughs it up with the pass. Stick saved by Anderson. Get that slop out of here. He makes the stop. No rebound. Off in the corner it is. Takes a shot. And that's broken up. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Here comes the call from the official. Holes going to the box for tripping. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. The Oilers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James. The best power plays, they move the puck and move their feet at the same time. You'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be. 47 seconds. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, the Oilers are currently sitting in the driver's seat leading 2-0. And it's a quick pass to McDavid. Shuts it down with a stop. Toronto's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. Across the line. Right in the slot. Quick pass across to Turris. Puts it up front. Hammers a shot. Big time stop there. Through center along the wing. Quick feed to Turris. Oh! Just puts it wide of the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. And now he tries to get it across to Turris. Takes the feed. 
stones him in front. That knocks him off the puck. Moves it to Hyman. Moves the puck over to Brody. Moved into the middle. Chris one in close. Glove save by the goalie. The most fun save for the goaltender. The glove stop. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Oilers win the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Slides it to Anderson. Moves it quickly over to Muzzin. Cuts to the paint, and that's blocked. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Taken by Nugent Hopkins. Moves it over to McDavid. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. The Leafs have been handed two minutes for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Hasn't been many opportunities tonight on the power play, but here is one. We'll see if they can take advantage. Moves the puck. And now it's grabbed by Musson. Battling for it along the boards. And the puck's booted away. And loses possession after a solid hit. Nice poke check. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picks off the feed. Sends it in deep. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Edmonton's got the puck against the boards. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. Tripping is the call that he's seller or is that the right one in your no, mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. Oh, a daunting task for the penalty killing unit here. A five on three power play. Too often a five on three is not as dangerous as it should be because the guys are looking for the perfect play. Every time you have a man advantage, you have to have in your mind, you have to outwork the penalty killers. Feeds the puck over to Nugent Hopkins. On the attack along the boards. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Oilers have it against the wall. Edmonton's on the attack. He's got a step. Denied by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the play continues. Feeds the puck across to Dermott. A chance Whoa. right in front. He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely. And they're able to capitalize on the extra man. Bad luck for the goalie, great luck for the shooter here. This has stopped about 90%. Hey, you got to stop 100% of it because now it's in the cage. Edmonton's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows for later this evening, Ray. They are, even though it's in the second period still. They have scored almost at will tonight. Puck grabbed by Russell. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Oilers have it from their own end. Picked up along the wall by Hyman. Receives the pass. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Picked up along the boards by Kara. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the feed. Matthews is hauled down. The official's arm is up. Oh, what an insane stop by Koskinen. And play finally comes to an end. Here's the officials. The Oilers will serve two minutes in the box. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. 
And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. If I'm coaching their team, James, when these guys went onto the ice for the power play, I tell them, forget about what's happened before. Can't do anything about it. It's a new chance, and we need the power play goal now. And the puck clears the zone. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Simmons works the puck in his own zone. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Scooped up along the wall by Larson. Quick pass to Thornton. Moved in front! Here's a chance on the backhand! Played big in the moment there. Sharp reaction save. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Leafs will play the puck from behind the net. And now he moves it to Simmons. Let's it fly! With the stop. Koskinen's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Tavares has been a really terrific leader for this team, and now it's not easy. You're the captain, and your team's way down. You need to play hard, though, so your players believe that they've got a chance. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. Gets it out of his own end. The Leafs have it behind the cage. Sends it ahead to Nylander. Moving into the attacking zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. They get it out of the defensive end. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. There's no facet of this penalty kill that has been weak tonight for them. They have been perfect while they've been down a man. From the goaltending to the pressure up the ice, denying entry. It's been an outstanding night for this unit. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 3-0 is the score. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. The Oilers move it ahead. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Centering pass. Knocked away. Quick feed to Thornton. Smart defensive play there. Nurse is swooping in on the attack. Here he is in front. He scores. What a run of play this has been. Four straight goals for them. They have not taken their foot off the gas at all. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. The Leafs are going to swap goaltenders. I would say there's some relief here. He's been ventilated tonight. Now he gets to go take a break. The Oilers continue to do what they've been doing all night, produce offensively. They look like such a better team. Every time they get a chance, I expect them to score. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Ray, it looks like tripping. It's amazing how coaches get angry with a tripping penalty, but they don't seem to say much if it's a boarding penalty. It's still two minutes. Two is two, yeah. One just seems lazier, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to hit anybody, and I take a <laughs> tripping penalty. Safety first. Pass right on the doorstep. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes a shot, and that carries off a stick. The Oilers have possession shorthanded, and they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Pass to Nylander. Toronto's across the blue line. Takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. Another stop by the goaltender. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice, the goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Koskinen's been dealing with these scoring chances like he is locked in tonight. Here it's a stick save. Toronto's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snake bitten as they trail late in this second period. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Huge stick save by the goaltender. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Can't connect. Tries to clear. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Denied that one. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Tosses it on to Nylander. Moves the puck to Tavares. 
Sends it across. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Koskinen. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Leafs win it. Yamamoto's out of the box, and both sides are back to even strength. Oh, what a save in front. The pressure points on the penalty kill have been letter perfect tonight. They've pushed at the right times. They've sagged back at the right times. Gotten the requisite saves when they need those two. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Hey fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away the full of the tonight's game. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Leafs coaches have just gone up and down the bench reminding guys, get to the front of the net. More pucks there. I think they like a lot of their game. They just haven't scored. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Moves it to Pugliarvi. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. There's a whistle as the officials calling for a penalty here. Pugliarvi's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Now reaches in with his stick and he'll go to the box. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. The power play can move the puck quicker, but what they really need is to get a little more traffic around the front of the net. Make it a crowded area. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Oh, he'll feel that one. And makes the save. Fires it! Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. He scores! Oh, they've been hoping that the extra work they have done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. Oh, I really like their work ethic on this power play because it didn't go in the net early for them. They had to stay at it. They kept all kinds of pressure on the penalty killers. Eventually, you just wear them out, and they're able to score. Toronto's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Toronto. Puck picked up by Jones. Dumps it in. Toronto's got it from behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Tavares. Nice pass. Sends a pass over. A simple stop with the glove by Koskinen. The Leafs have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Toronto's won the draw, and they'll go to work. There's going to be a regret in this one. That might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Moves it quickly over to Muzzin. Cutting to the front of the net. Puck scooped up by Jones. Referee singling delayed penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Here comes the official's call. McKayev's getting two for hooking. That's kind of a bad penalty to take. You reach out with your hands, and the referee sees your stick parallel to the ice. He's going to call it most times. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. 
Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone faceoff. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Riley's lugging the puck. Couldn't find the intended target. Denies him in front. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Here's the pass. Takes a wrist shot, gives them nothing in front. Scores! That's three! I had nine of these, James. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. Power play's job is to create shots. And if you can create them from the most dangerous areas of the ice, you're going to be successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. The Oilers could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. Taken by Riley. Hyman's got the puck in his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Matthews is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Here comes the sentence. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Another scoring opportunity looms here. At the morning skate today, they were really working on the power play quite extensively. The power play coach has to be satisfied with how they've looked tonight. Quick shot. There's another stop. Why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Edmonton's got it across the line. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. The Oilers take possession in the neutral zone. Tonight! Oh, excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Each team is looking for an edge, and they have been doing it physically since the very first period. This has been a long night. The Leafs have had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. Toronto's won the draw. Sends the pass over. And we've got a two-on-one. A chance! Takes that one right in the logo. Koskinen's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. More than half the period left to play. 5-1 is where we sit to this point. On their heels, trying to clear. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Sends it over. Big save. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Toronto's got it behind the net. Barry's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. It gets more and more frustrating each power play that slips away in a particular game. They've had a bad night with the man advantage. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. He was locked in there. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And he regains control of the puck. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Dale's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Leafs still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Setters jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Takes the pass. It's a two-on-one. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Carries it across the line. Centering pass, and there's the save. Grabbed along the board by Thornton. Puts it to the front of the net. What a steal in his own end. Yamamoto's caught with the hook, and the officials saw it. And the officials will pass the sentence here. 
And it's going to be two minutes for hooking on the call. A lot of people debate, is this a lazy penalty, the hook? I don't know if it's lazy all the time, but it's a penalty of being out of position. Your stick's parallel to the ice. You get called all the time. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Well, the power play's been confident, hasn't it? Move the puck, shoot the puck, and they've scored several times here as they get another chance. Can't connect. And now it's grabbed by Neal. From the slot, off the outside of the post and stays out. Edmonton's latest chance results with a shot off the goal post. Probably don't need it there, but the shooter would have liked it. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Leafs played along the wing. Jostled off the puck. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Toronto's got the puck shorthanded. Strong defensive effort. And now he angles it across to Nugent Hopkins. Takes that pass back at the point. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. That pass doesn't go. On the backhand. Now he slides it up to Anderson. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot, sometimes the thing just hits you. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. Puck grab by Dermott. Toronto's looking to break out. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And he slides it quickly to Marner. No one home on that play. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Leafs have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Nurse. Moves it on over to Yamamoto. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. Stopped by the goaltender. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. Shot stopped by the goaltender. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Handles the puck. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Nylander. The Leafs take it across the line. Centered out in front. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Koskinen's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Too much to not enough. It's 5-1. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Up along the wing. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Wow. He scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Edmonton's only continued to extend the lead here in the third. They haven't missed many chances. They've scored at will and now are coasting home. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Throws it in. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Tries to get it to Nylander. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Skates in behind the cage. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Quick feed to Dermott. That pass goes a little sideways. Slides the pass over to Cassian. Puck dumped in. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Nylander. Aaron pass and the play is broken up. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. And the puck departs the zone. Takes the feed. They've got the defense outnumbered. Puck picked up by Brody. Skates across the blue line. 
Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Here they come up along the wing. The Oilers will play it against the wall. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. And they fail to go tape to tape. Moves it quickly over to Torres. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Leafs are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves the puck. Koskinen's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. The centermen glide into position. Edmonton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Play rolls on. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Slides the puck ahead to VC. Gains the zone from the right side. Let's it fly. And that one's turned away. Maintains possession. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Puck scooped up by Dreisaitl. Move to the middle. He got all of that one. And he denied that opportunity. Toronto's working the transition through the middle of the ice. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. With the stop. Receives the pass. Cahoon's carrying it ahead. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Turns it away. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Trying to get back on the attack now. And he slides it quickly to Matthews. Toronto's in now. Stick collapses. Oh, so frustrating. You're in position. You've got the shot. And your stick gives out. The Oilers take it along the wall. Pumps the puck away. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Now a quick pass to Hyman. Under a minute to go on the third. Here they are on the attack. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. The Leafs played along the boards. Can't catch up to the pass. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Here's a short pass to McDavid. His reflexes on display tonight. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. I wanted to look at this again to show you how the goaltender tracks the puck across the front of the net on the play to make the save. The Leafs need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail in the third. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Quick pass to Neal. Takes a shot and makes a save. Taken along the wall by Ennis. And another stop. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Picking up some steam at center ice. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Quick feed to Muzzin. The same solid team effort in round one that pushed them here has carried through, and they're rolling on. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Well, that'll do it for that round, but still a long way to go here. Yeah, but you can't get to the next round until you get through this one. But they'll be pleased tonight. They can enjoy this victory and then move on to preparation for the next series. Still a very, very impressive performance to be able to pull this one off. And time for one of the great traditions in all the sports, the handshake here. Even though there are bitter feelings through the series, it is awesome to go through and show your respect to the winners.
In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night.